In this video, we are going to discuss one CSS property, content. So the content CSS property replaces an element with a generated value. Objects inserted using the content property are anonymous replaced elements. Okay, so let's go and create a simple example. For example, we have one paragraph. Okay, and some static HTML is there. Okay, and with paragraph, let's say uh, we have one class. Let's call it games. Okay, so this is how it looks right now. Okay. So let's target this class. Let's give color white color so it will be readable. Okay, and let's add one property called content. So how you will use? So you can use before CSS pseudo selector, and to use that you have to use ampersand because we are writing in games CSS class and before here what you can do you can give content let's give the value in single quote and giving one space here okay so it should add here as generated value okay so you can see here let me show you let me inspect that and here in the paragraph class games one before element is there and in before you can see the content is now this image this icon okay so instead of using before you can use after as well and it will be here okay similarly you can use any icon let me replace this and before then it will be like this okay so this is how you can use content css property this is one of the simplest example and very common use in html and css you can also use images like let me show you let me add content here content and in value you can pass url okay so let's add one url as string okay and you can see we have one image okay you can also add a margin let's say margin right 5 pixel and it will move 5 pixel from right okay so this looks good right so you can add any content like any html you can also use uh, like this content and here uh, text for example okay. and it will add text here before this paragraph okay so this is how you can use content css property so uh, let's see few of the common css property css values which is possible with content you can use normal and none if you want to override any uh, other css class with none you want to remove that property then you can use content none you can also use image as i just uh, explained you can use uh, gra uh, gradient values linear gradient okay you can also use image set at uh, multiple images with common image set at a value you can also use for um, all text uh, for the generated content okay so you can also use um, as a prefix value as a content you can also use uh, like uh, giving numbers to specific content a counter in simple example in simple terms okay so counter is also one of the uh, very common use that you can use with content property uh, also language specific values are there open quote uh, close quote no open quote no close quote okay uh, also a chapter counter is uh, also uh, incremental value that you can use 
okay and apart from that uh, there are values like inherit initial revert concept is there okay so these are the possible values and uh, now we can uh, see the very uh, let's say a simple example okay so in html let me remove this paragraph and let's skip it h1 and i'm adding one number in h1 okay and paragraph we have some class with some content okay so this is paragraph and h1 tag similarly i have another h1 class uh, the number is 5 and paragraph with some class let's give the value uh, whatever okay it can be whatever and Lorenz found is the again generated content. Okay. So now let me the CSS. Okay. So now we have two paragraphs with some numbers. Okay. So in this case, what we can do, let me again uh, add one more paragraph with another number four, five, and six. This is not relevant, but we are keeping simple. So here, what we can do, we can use um, CSS property. Why it is not color games? Yeah, so it should be paragraph, and it will be color white. Okay. So what we can do here? Um, yeah, it is not applying because. The paragraph is overriding from somewhere okay but whatever so here we can target paragraph before content and here what we can write we can write content and in value we can give uh, let's give value chapter and space then it will be it is not yeah paragraph should be p not dot p okay. so now let's see how it is looking right now so it is paragraph before and it should be yeah but it shouldn't be paragraph before it should be h1 before because we are not using paragraph as a parent content we are using h1 so let me remove this and now you can see here with h1 before you can see this chapter text is there so whatever content we will have in future let's say now uh, from database or some external api we are fetching some data okay and with that data, we have similar kind of structure, H1 and paragraph. So you can see now the chapter is common. So before every number, we will have this chapter text. So sometimes um, as a backend developer, you don't know, as a frontend developer, you don't know how this uh, chapter should be added because you don't have access to uh, external API or database values. So in that case, you can target these values like H1 or whatever the selector is and using that before content property, you can add text, whatever you want. So instead of text, you can also copy this and paste it. So it will be added before this number. Okay. So this is very useful when you have to, uh, when you have a dynamic content and you don't have access to uh, some specific content updation. So you can add number of iterations and uh, using that content property, you can add before or after text with respect to this selector. Okay. So I hope you like this video and you learn something new today. If you are new to my channel, please visit my channel. There are more than 200 videos uploaded and uh, many uh, 
playlist are there uh, there are uh, many videos related to javascript as well and hope you subscribe you will subscribe to my channel and this is all for this video guys see you next time around bye